I think like outs outside of like the cities, you know, we're just kind of out in the country or the smaller, smaller towns, smaller cities. It's not like it's not unusual, you know. It's it's a pretty regular place. You can drive around like like normal. Like the Cleveland. I know I know mostly about Cleveland. I don't know so much about like. Toledo and Youngstown and Akron, the other big cities, because I spend a lot of time in Cleveland. Like, since it's an old place, you know, it's kind of hard to redo everything. So a lot of the streets are just like really small, or like everyone, every street you can park on. So there's always like just cars on both sides, and you have like two little lanes to go through, and the streets just go like this and crazy and there's a bunch of one ways which is totally insane um... so driving in Cleveland's like a nightmare and I remember driving in Toledo that was a nightmare too it was like there's like lights every like five seconds and then the bumpy road because they have like bricks underneath because they haven't like changed the foundation of their road so it's still bricks underneath back when they laid them down in like 1910 and they just you know they just fix it by putting new asphalt on but then you know this gigantic buses go and then they just start moving the road and it's like the roads start getting all wavy and by like biking we, I would try to bike on the sidewalk but even that gets crazy if you got people walking everywhere and you don't want to go on the road because it's already like basically a one-way street even though you can get like four cars in it and so it's just dang it's kind of dangerous to bike on the street N outside of the residential areas like in the residentials it's fine you know but like the streets are just not good like they don't keep them they don't keep them maintained or if they do it's just like not well so advice for like traveling there like do you mean for like a missionary or just for like anyone visiting um for missionary you'll, you'll probably be fine because you'll get, you'll probably get a bike, or if you have a car. Just, I don't know. Just keep the keep the law, I guess. You don't don't run into anybody. You just got to watch out for people walk, walking across, jaywalking. They'll jaywalk everywhere. For someone visiting, I don't know what you'd want to do. Get a cab, I guess, or take the bus. The bus is probably your best bet if you're just gonna like visit. Because. If you're going to be in the city, because outside the city, the bus isn't the bus system isn't all that good. But the bus is, but the bus system in Cleveland is it's pretty good. It's they they keep them going pretty pretty much throughout the day. And there's like it's like 50 lines that they have, and they also have a a train station that kind of goes to the major parts of the city, and you can get like a month pass for like 85 bucks, I think. So that was that was pretty good.